Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us again for this press briefing. First of all, I want to start by stating that our safety committee, the Pharmacovigilance and Risk Assessment Committee of the European Medicines Agency, has confirmed that the benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine in preventing COVID-19 overall outweigh the risks of side effects. COVID-19 is a very serious disease with high hospitalization and death rates, and every day COVID is still causing thousands of deaths across the EU. This vaccine has proven to be highly effective. It prevents severe disease and hospitalization, and it is saving lives. Vaccination is extremely important in helping us in the fight against COVID-19, and we need to use the vaccines we have to protect us from the devastating effects. The Prague, after a very in-depth analysis, has concluded that the reported cases of unusual blood clotting following vaccination with the AstraZeneca vaccine should be listed as possible side effects of the vaccine. As, as we communicated last week, we convened an ad hoc expert group composed of experts from a range of medical specialities, including hematologists, neurologists, epidemiologists, and virologists. Based on the current available evidence, specific risk factors such as age, gender, or previous medical history of, of clotting disorders have not been able to be confirmed as the rarest events are seen in all ages and in men and women. A plausible explanation for these rare side events is that uh, is an immune response to the vaccine leading to a condition similar to one seen sometimes in patients treated with heparin. It's called heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. And Dr. Strauss will give us more details from the assessment. EMA is working very closely with the national competent authorities in all the EU member states and the company to make sure that these risks are proactively communicated to healthcare professionals. It's important that both vaccinated people and healthcare professionals are aware of the signs and symptoms of these unusual blood clotting disorders so that they can be spotted quickly to minimize any possible risks. We will continue to monitor the scientific evidence available on both effectiveness and safety of all the authorized COVID-19 vaccines, and we will issue further recommendations if necessary on the grounds of science and robust evidence. This case clearly demonstrates one of the challenges posed by large-scale vaccination campaigns. When millions of people receive these vaccines, very rare events can occur that were not identified during the clinical trials. The role of pharmacovigilance, the monitoring of these side effects, is to help us to rapidly detect and analyze these risks and their impact on the benefit-risk profile of the vaccine. This case also shows us that our pharmacovigilance system is working. These very rare and unusual events have been picked up, identified, analyzed, and have allowed us to come to science-based recommendations to allow the safe and effective use of this vaccine. EMA's scientific assessment will continue to, to work on all recommendations around this vaccine. Any national decision on the optimal use in vaccination campaigns will also take into account the pandemic situation in any individual country and other factors such as hospitalization and availability of vaccines.